Greetings gamers, it's Thursday which means it's review time and this week we're taking a look at The Cave. This puzzle solving adventure game is brought to us by Ron Gilbert, the man behind Monkey Island, and it's definitely got a unique style to it. It's available for 15 bucks on Steam, but is it worth the price or would you rather go spelunking through your aunt's moldy basement? Let's find out. People have come to me in search of what they desire most. Few find what they are looking for, even fewer ever leave. Welcome to the cave. That's me, the cave. Yes, yes, I'm a talking cave. D -d 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 Don't laugh. The Cave kind of reminds me of one of my all-time favorite games from childhood, The Lost Vikings. In case you've never heard of The Lost Vikings, it's a Super Nintendo game where you can switch between three different characters, each with their own unique abilities at any time. The Cave operates the same way, except that the game gives you the option of choosing from seven different characters. Each character has their own backstory, and playing through with different characters means you get to see different parts of the cave. However, unlike Lost Vikings, each character has only one special ability. The time traveler can phase through walls, the twins can make a ghost of themselves, you get the idea. I like this choose your own adventure system and I think it definitely adds replay value as once you've played through with three characters, you'll want to pick three new ones to see their unique areas of the cave. It turns out all of the characters are horrible people and their humorous stories are told in still images called cave paintings that you collect along your adventure. Personally, I would have liked to see some cutscenes instead of just still images, but hey, the game's only 15 bucks so I guess I really can't complain that much. The most interesting character, though, is the cave itself, as he narrates your adventure and is actually quite humorous. He is a funny little man, isn't he? I should probably fire him. I think he's dipping into the till. In fact, the worst thing about the cave's narration is that there's not really enough of it. Unlike the narrator in Bastion, who chimes in every three seconds, the cave remains quiet most of the time, which is a shame because I think some extra lines might have livened up the game a little bit more. In fact, all of the voice acting in the game is great, and more dialogue would not have been a bad thing. As far as plot goes, it's pretty good. The desire to discover each character's twisted past and the true intentions of the cave itself goes a long way toward keeping the player invested in the story. All right, let's talk about the art style. I really like it. The game's lighting effects and shadows give it a great creepy vibe. The character design is unique and they all have that claymation charm to them. The different areas are detailed and change often enough to keep the game from getting stale. Overall, the game is great visually. Even the animations are fantastic and add personality to the little adventurers. I really like these creepy twins. The way they move together is awesome. They're like spooky little ice climbers. Moving on to gameplay. Controlling your character is pretty simple. Aside from the basic move and interact controls, each character has a special ability and they're all pretty easy to use. There's no tutorials on abilities, but you can see how they work in the options menu. The puzzles are interesting, but things don't always work quite the way you'd expect them to and some of the answers to the puzzles seem counterintuitive. I won't go into any detail because I don't want to spoil any of the puzzles for you, but one or two of them had solutions that seemed a bit silly and illogical. Then there was this puzzle that the game creator offers the answer to online, but which isn't all that hard. Where were these helpful hints when I needed them? Anyway, as far as puzzle solving goes, they are pretty cool and they're rewarding when you finally figure out the answer, even though it can be frustrating when you're stuck. The game's instant respawn system is nice as you don't really want to be reloading from saves every time you screw up. The game also has a co-op mode, which is great because a lot of times what you need is a second set of eyes looking at the problem. Plus, you can get through the game a lot quicker when someone else is maneuvering one of the characters into position for you. What it boils down to is that The Cave is an entertaining, puzzle-solving adventure game with decent replayability, good voice acting, and a fair price tag. There are a couple of minor annoyances, and I really think they should have used the narrator a little bit more, but overall, I still really enjoyed it. The Cave gets 8 creepy little children out of 10. Thanks for watching guys, and be sure to hit those comments and tell us if you played this one, or if there's anything out there you want us to review. And we'll see you next time.